because I'm exploring everything. Dr. Elias. Um, this club was born about four, uh, eight weeks ago, as he said, and the mother was a very good mother. Kamani's a good mother, and it was her first cub. Well, we've had her here for eight years, and we have waited for a cub for her. And so this is her first one, and she has been um, a good mother, but a little overzealous. And in the process, she, when they carry him in their mouth, they, he incurred a small injury. But because of her fastidious nature of cleaning, um, she overcleaned the wound to the point that it became a little bit more open than we would have wanted and it was not healing. So we had to pull him and take him into our care um, after about 10 days old and he had to wear a little onesie shirt so that we could keep the wound clean and keep it to keep, and let it heal. And it took probably a couple weeks, but by that time he had been separated from his mother a little bit longer than would have been ideal, but we had to take care of him first. So to reintroduce him to his mother, we want him to be a little bit stronger, a little bit more agile, and so what we've done is um, brought him into our care and then brought in a surrogate mother, so to speak, um, a dog, who is, uh, this is common in zoos that have, um, have to hand raise the bigger cats, bigger carnivores, because they can handle the puppiness, you know, what a puppy would be like biting at them and chewing on and climbing on them, which is what this cub does. And so we have trimmed his toenails so he doesn't cough as bad. And she has taught him, she's a mother, she's had a litter before, and she is teaching him manners, how to behave, so he learns to behave in a pride. If he were hand raised strictly by humans, he would not have a respect for those big lines that are across the way there. And either he would be killed by them, or he would, as he got older, kill another. Because they just don't know what to do with themselves. So we don't want that to happen. He's too valuable in the zoo uh, community and to his species. So um, we are giving him a chance to grow up, get a little bigger, and then we'll hopefully get him back introduced to mom and dad, and he can live with them and learn to be alive. Just so you know that all these exotic cats, these can uh, the lions especially, are very susceptible to canine distemper. So everybody has been vaccinated with special vaccines to protect them because they could get that from the dog and he's been she's been vaccinated.